Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14. So in this video I will do kind of like a roundup of iOS 14, talk about all the important things that you need to know regarding this new update that is coming in less than two months. So with iOS 14 being close to be released on the first beta, of course there are a ton of leaks, reports and rumors going on on the internet right now regarding iOS 14, its features and all that stuff. So in this video I will tell you guys everything that you need to know regarding iOS 14. Let's start it off with some really, really important features that have been leaked recently. One of them is called Clips. Now this feature allows you to use parts of different apps without having the apps installed on your device. So basically Clips will allow you to use specific parts of third party apps without having the app downloaded on your device. This feature will allow you to try like different features of the app by simply scanning a QR code and that will be really really interesting. So this is a report coming from 9 to 5 Mac. They have analyzed this new API from Apple and they say that it allows devs to offer like interactive and dynamic content from their apps to even basically users that don't have them installed on their devices. You can scan a QR code and basically it will show you like an interface from where you can interact with different features of that app without having the app installed on your device. And that's really, really interesting. A very cool feature allowing you basically to try out apps without having them installed. Really interesting to see how Apple will implement this and of course how devs will take advantage of this new feature coming from Apple. Something really interesting regarding the home screen of the iPhone on iOS 14. As you probably know if you have seen my last video and other YouTubers videos, we had reports that basically widgets are coming to the iPhone home screen. Not just on the page on the left, but on the home screen where the icons are. So this was basically a report from 9to5Mac. They had reported this based on the code found on iOS 14 on a build of iOS 14, which they have. And now a new leak from a user on Twitter called CocoBit has basically shown some pictures which show what it looks like to be a picture of the new iPhone 12 and the home screen on that picture can be seen like the icons combined with different widgets. Just like you can see them right here, this is basically a concept that I did myself to basically try to, to see how that would look on your device if you have like these widgets right there on the home screen. So previously I did basically like a concept that had only like big widgets on the on the top here on, on the bottom, but according to that picture looks like these widgets won't like be all of the same size. You can resize them, maybe put them anywhere you want on the row of the icons on your home screen. And it could look something like this, like this concept that I have built here to basically show how that could look. And it's really, really interesting. We have to see, hopefully Apple, I believe they will go with this feature and release it on iOS 14. And then we will have to wait and see how devs will take advantage of this new feature and have all those like interactive basically widgets on the home screen of the iPhone. This will be very, very interesting. This will like open a whole new like channel for devs to create like some apps that are basically con concentrated more on the widgets and that should be really, really cool. So this is a really important feature and a game changer to iPhone if Apple decides to go with this on the final release of iOS 14. Though, of course, other important features that are coming to iOS 14, the list view on the home screen, I know some people hate this idea, some love it, but basically it could look something like this. This is also something that I have created myself. It might not look as this like this at all, but I just created this based on the view that we have on the Apple Watch. So basically what this will be is like a section that you go where you can easier find an app. This by any means won't be like the default home screen of your iPhone, but just something like a part of iOS where you can go and just browse your apps and find them faster. So basically you would have the option to go to the list view, you can sort the apps based on size or name or something like that, or maybe even usage. And of course you would also have like serious suggestions right there of the apps that you use most on that part of the day when you're searching for apps. 
And another really important feature that is reported coming to iOS 14 is the default apps. So basically right now on your iOS device, you cannot use third party apps as default apps like for mail or browsing. You can you tap on a link, it will open it in Safari, even though you use another browser. So with iOS 14, Apple is set to bring this feature to your iPhone. So basically you will be able to use other third party apps as your default app. You want to browse with Chrome, you can do that, not just have to use Safari all the time. That will be very, very welcome. I know a lot of people have been asking for this feature for a really, really long time. And of course, with iOS 14, it's quite a huge update. There will be a ton of new features. Some of them are on the message app. On the message, we will see mentions. So just like you do on comments on your social media, you will be able to mention someone on a message right here on the iMessage app. You will also be able to delete send messages and also you will have a typing indicator for group messages. So basically, these are the new features reported coming to the iMessage app on iOS 14. Big changes are also coming on the wallpaper section. Now this is a screenshot from iOS 14. Now we talked earlier about the widgets. This is the home screen, this is the lock screen. You will have the option to add this like blurred look on the home screen in order for the widgets to look better and see more details on the widgets. So this is the all new look of the wallpapers on iOS 14. So you will have different appearances to choose for the home screen in order to adapt better to the widgets that you have installed iOS 14 is also bringing collections to the wallpaper so you will be able to add different collections from third party apps and you will also have different categories of wallpaper so right here you can see we have iOS 13 then we have classic stripes you will have there like flowers and all that stuff like different categories that you can choose and basically add different collections to your wallpapers from third party apps. Though, of course, other smaller features that are coming to iOS 14, one of them is a new fitness app that will be a default app on iOS 14. And also Apple is bringing shot on iPhone integrated within the Photos app. So it will be way easier for you to compete on that contest that Apple does. A new sleep mode is also rumored to come to iOS 14 and there should be a CC toggle, a control center toggle for the sleep mode on the control center of iOS 14. Other features are the new keychain features, which basically Apple is trying to make their keychain feature more like one passcode, have of course all the features that it doesn't have right now. Of course, it's really basic. Hopefully, Apple will make it really better with iOS 14. There will be improvements on the weather app. As you know, Apple has bought, bought Dark Sky, which is a really, really good weather app. Hopefully, they will do something with that and add an update to the weather app, which has basically been the same since the release of iOS. And then on Maps, Apple is also adding new features. You will see more details on Maps regarding the Apple stores. Of course, there are all other kind of smaller features that have been reported, but those are like features that, that might be dropped during the process of creating iOS 14. So we will have to wait more to see if those will make iOS 14 or not. Now let's get to some really important informations you need to know regarding iOS 14. First of all, let's talk about the release date. I know there have been rumors that iOS 14 might get postponed and we will have to wait more to see iOS 14, but a new report claims that there will be no delay on the release of the first beta of iOS 14 and it will be released on June 1st when WWDC 2020 will start. So that's a really, really great news. If you're waiting for iOS 14 to install the beta, you will have it on June 1st. There will be no delay. The devs have been working from their home during this, of course, this is basically the thing that is going on right now on the word, the pandemic and all that. They have been doing a great job, of course, and we will have beta one of iOS 14 on June 1st at the start of WWDC 2020, which of course will be all online. There will be no like real event. It, the event will totally be online. And last but not least, let's talk about supported devices. So I know a lot of people are thinking whether their device will be supported or not. A report that had been going on earlier claimed that iOS 14 will support all the same devices that iOS 13 did. Now this has been the case with iOS 12. iOS 12 has supported all the devices that iOS 11 supported. And with iOS 14 being really 
focused on stability and speed improvement and all that i truly believe that that will happen this year as well so ios 14 should support all the same devices that ios 13 already supports so that of course starting from the ipod touch seventh generation this will be the oldest device to support ios 14 then you will have the iphone 6s 6s plus and the se both have the same chip so those will be the oldest iphones to support ios 14 the se and the 6s now if this report turns out to be true that will be really really good now if it doesn't i believe then it will start from the iphone 7 and the 7 plus those will be the older devices now, this is 100 percent sure the iphone 7 and the 7 plus will support ios 14 we will have to wait and see for the iphone 6s and the 6s plus and the se of course but the reports the initial reports claim that ios 14 will support all the same devices that ios 13 already does and that's a really really great news so that is it for this video guys this is everything that you need to know regarding ios 14 which is coming on its first beta on june 1st a very important update of course for ios ios 14 should be really really huge if it has all the features that have already been reported by very very trusted sources so that's pretty much it don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're interested on more ios 14 news and if you're interested to see everything that is going on all the rumors leaks and reports regarding this new update make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one